Okay guys, welcome back to my video. So as you probably can tell from the title, I will be drawing geese today. Specifically Canadian geese. Now where I'm from in the US, Canadian geese are protected. And it's funny because during like this fall time when they start laying eggs and then mom and dad become very protective as they both watch over their nest. And in fact, this geese um, was outside of my building and it literally charged me. It had been so nice in the past, just mind its business, let me walk by. But this day, it was not having it and I was definitely made aware as it tried to charge me. Which is funny because I usually like take pictures of the geese because I'm really into birds for whatever reason since we have like just a lot around my area I just find them really fascinating especially because like it's funny to me you'll see them crossing the road but it's like they can fly so there's literally no reason to do that they just want to hold up traffic just because and I feel like that's such a mood and I can just really relate to that you know on a, like a deep emotional level so as you can see, I am drawing one ready to attack. And as always, I am using Google for references because I wouldn't know the position of a goose attacking otherwise. It is doing this to another bird, so not me. I will see if I can find the picture of it trying to attack me because I think that's pretty darn funny. Um, so I'm going in and doing details on the wing. Now they're not too specific, but it is more detailed than just a blocked out triangle looking thing. I will be going in with um, watercolor soon. This one is drawn a little closer to, um, well, a little further away and looks smaller. Just to kind of like it's hiding and it's sad. Uh, because the other goose is going off on it. So it's trying to avoid eye contact to provoke any further anger. As you can tell, the one thing I made sure in this video and compared to other videos, I made sure to focus the camera before I start drawing because I know in past videos it has been focusing on my can. So it will stay clear throughout. I fixed that up for you guys, so no need to worry there. Now these feet it, um, were giving me the blues, especially this one um, on the right. So it's left foot, but we're seeing it on the right. It's because um, it's laid flat versus the foot on the left is pointed. Like the foot, you see more of the foot because the foot is pointing towards the ground. So it was driving me crazy. And I know for the face, like my hand gets in the way of it sometimes. But I do pull it out very quickly so you can see the little details. And I just get really a close-up shot of my hand. You know, hopefully you love that. Um, but yeah, you're not missing out on too much because I show you it right away. And actually, this is my second time doing this goose. As you can see... Um, the eraser mark previously because I drew it too far, far away and it didn't look like that geese the one that's bigger was honking at the smaller goose I think the drama is funny like the girls are fighting but the geese are fighting or on the subject of animals what is your favorite animal I'll go first you leave yours in the comments for me I personally like cheetahs but I am really interested in like birds in general like because you know how there's the rabbits um squirrels birds like i'm more of the bird person out of like those three my dog would say rabbits because she thinks they're tasty they like to unfortunately um build their nest in our yard and it never ends well for them like even our old dog would target them and i try and protect them but sometimes she's beats me to it and it doesn't end well but yeah when they become big enough where they can you know outrun her they're fine but when they're just babies waiting on their mothers to come back and feed them it's it's a hit or miss let's just say that just want to apologize if that got dark for no reason at all um anyway i'm going back to 
redo this foot because as I told you earlier it was getting I didn't like it and I tried different variations of this foot but I ended up going with like you can see two of their toes and I know it's not called toes but it's like as their feet their web feet is spaced out and I tried to see hmm do I give more detail to the bigger one but decided against it this d goose that I'm drawing in this upper corner is flying and that's why it's above the other two I think it just makes sense to have it flying since it isn't up in the corner and they fly usually in a V for during their migration. And the one at the at the very point is their leader and is directing them. I want to say they fly south, I believe, to warmer climate during our winter because it does get cold. But don't quote me because I don't know 100%. I, I learned the fact years ago. Anyway, I am doing basic shapes because it's never really good to just go into uh, specific details unless you know what you're doing in your pro. And I've been doing it for some time, but I wouldn't call myself a pro. I used to draw, as I've said in previously, and as I'm sure you guys already know, to draw humans before this. Yeah, this is one of those you have to trust the process because it the wings look like okay you could tell they're wings but everything else once i add the face it starts to really come together and life is brought to it but yeah these basic shapes like who you got to trust the process i am going to end up coloring this in watercolor i'm thinking i might on top of the watercolor since watercolors are super light I might also go in with some colored pencils. Now, I don't have, like, any Prisma colors, so I do use the basic color pencils. But my, the majority of my work, I do want to highlight the beauty of watercolor, so I'm okay with that. I just want to accentuate the colors, really, if you know what I mean. Now that I draw this, this kind of reminds me of, like, storks. You know, those storks that bring, um, well... The story is that they bring the baby, but we all know how that really happens. And if you don't, let's just say, yeah, the stork brings it to you. And I really should go back in, um, since I haven't inked it, and just put the baby in its mouth. Because I feel like that is so funny. It would be such a cute little story, you know what I mean? Like, whose baby are they going to deliver? Ugh. You know, I just might. Just be a little treat for you guys. I'm trying to get the beak right. Ooh, I kind of liked it beforehand, but in person, it looked better now that I've edited it. So now I'm just inking all four birds. I did end up drawing the bird on the left um, earlier, but it was going in and out because I didn't focus the camera properly. I know the lighting on this is weird, but I draw it on a different day at a different time, and so you just have to bear with me. Anyway, at the end, I'll come back and show you how they all look. Okay, guys, so here we are back for a final look. Hope you enjoy and come visit next week.